Hi, today I'm going to be talking about the adult games on Steam and the removal notices they've gotten. Um, this isn't perfectly complete. I kind of have a few tabs open on my other monitor. I'm just going to go through them. And, um, you know, I will say personally, I don't, I don't really think the adult game should be on Steam, but it's a pretty different reason than the organization that claimed victory. Um, even though, like, Steam kind of, like, almost immediately reversed the decision. Uh, you know, it's pretty different reasons. And they want, like, all booby games to be off Steam. Like, they have a problem with Witcher 3. I don't. So, anyway, it's this organization, uh, the National Center on uh, Sexual Exploitation, right? And they have this list of people they don't like who do things they don't like. Um, for some reason, people are like, oh, this is a liberal group. No, it's a conservative group. No, it's a liberal group because um, all the people like me who are making explainers because of the for this thing just because it's viral, because we're all desperate for fucking views, um, you know, some of them are conservative, so they don't want to associate with this group. That was totally a fucking conservative group. Like, I, I don't know why someone would think it's a liberal group, like, they're there for Judeo-Christian values, whatever, who cares? If, you know, if you think it's a liberal group, fine, I agree with you. You're very smart, it's a liberal group. So they, they mainly got upset because of Steam and, uh, oh, they think there's too much sex on there. And it was particularly because of the game um, House Party, right? Because House Party originally... Um, was released on Steam, I think, with no censorship, and had um, plots where you, like, coerce women into sex, or you give them alcohol, and they strip for you, and it, like, maybe those, I don't know, maybe, I'm no uh, scholar, but maybe that isn't sex positivity, uh, actually, maybe that's just shitty. So um, they, they got mad about that. A lot of people got upset about that. And they, they started a little program, right? And they had some things to tweet Steam. And I actually looked. Like, their first thing to tweet has, like, maybe 10 or you know, less than, definitely less than 20 um, tweets. I searched. And the other two tweets they listed, I didn't get any results. Now, granted, that was just a second of searching. Maybe there's more shit out there, but probably not. This, uh... This group's campaign didn't uh, didn't go very well. So why are they claiming success? Well, um, they probably just flagged all the games. They mass reported them, and then because no one actually is like there paying attention to shit, it's all automated. So the games got flagged, and uh, then the Honey Pop guy started calling it the Waifu Holocaust, which is great. A great thing to invoke and um, you know and four games got targeted um, let's see mutiny honey pop um, kindred spirits on the rooftop and um, uh, tropical liquor and that that seemed like it was it so it's like funny they went through all this trouble it was all focused at um, at house party and they didn't even get house party the guy was like we didn't get anything and even if we did we'd fix it so whatever um, so they were claiming victory but that's just what groups do that's maybe if you disagree with me that's probably what you did when you saw that um, you know steam apologized and said they were gonna put the games under review again you probably were like yeah finally thank god for Gabe and um, you know that's just what people do because no one really believes in any of this shit it's just a cultural proxy war to no real purpose or benefit um, sorry but anyway, so yeah, they don't, they probably really don't believe in what they say, but whatever. They, they get money, uh, you look on Wikipedia and like, yeah, they get money to do what they want. They fight obscenity, which again is, is, uh, very, 
liberal concept obscenity laws were thought of by bleeding heart liberals for sure and um, you know that that's just the way it is um, so anyway the games that got targeted now I personally have had an issue with this since I bought Necopara and saw how easy the patch was to install now the Necopara patch isn't free you have to pay like 10 bucks for it but it's out there um, so these games were not taken off steam for any real reason as far as i can tell they were just mass flagged because one of the games really has nothing wrong with it um kindred spirits on the rooftop really has nothing wrong with it it's got some like soft core content which so does witcher uh so there's mass effect i, I don't think there's any problem with having boobies on steam now the other games do have hardcore content what does that mean well it means like actual sex acts are drawn rather than um simulated sex acts like so if you played witcher you've played mass effect they get they get naked and they kind of roll around and you never really see genitals or insertion and and yes you are looking at sex but it, it's simulated right yeah it's a cinemax like i don't even think that's the thing I'm like on Twitter I'm arguing with these kids nobody even knows what softcore pornography is because everyone's looking at hardcore pornography from like age 12 they don't even understand that that there was a point where people were making pornography without um, penis and vagina insertion like the guy like had no idea what I meant by hardcore versus softcore because um, everybody's looking at hardcore porn I mean Look how great the world is right now and how great everything's going so maybe it does need to be on steam maybe we do need hardcore porn on steam now my problem with the other games which is mutiny um honey pop and tropical li liquor and i'll say tropical liquor is probably the worst um as far as uh the content i think i do think it's voiced too let me see yeah, so I think that's the worst. Uh, Mutiny, does that Mutiny have any voice work? No. And then Honey Pop. And I'd say Mutiny is the least problematic because it's just stills. Um, Tropical li Liquor is like full voice acting. I don't know if you've ever played a H game, um, but you know, it's full voice acting and it's a free. Um, desensor patch. Honey Pop is the same thing where it's a free desensor patch and both these desensor patches are like zero kilobyte files so it's nothing like a mod it's not actually modifying the game it's just unlocking content they're storing on Steam. Uh, with Mutiny you actually have to reintroduce the files though they have a easy explainer on their website so um, and the kindred spirits game didn't didn't deserve to be taken off steam at all there's there's nothing really wrong with that in my mind um the thing is uh with these games that have sexual content and are very easily it's easy to restore the sexual content some may say so easy to restore the sexual content that a child could do it that's sort of what bothers me um, you know I know these companies want the game on Steam because they earn more money with the game on Steam versus say uh, Nuttaku or one of these small things but the thing is the reason Steam is so big is because they don't sell porn games on it right and if they started selling porn games they wouldn't be so big and so they're never going to have an 18 plus section I don't think but in that same way I don't think it's um, fair to have this marketplace where if I you know if you google these games uh, up you know even when we were on when Honey Pop was on uh, Patreon or no Kickstarter you know there was a steam version and a steamy version right and even within these um, there's the insinuation that the versions on Steam are all ages or at least less graphic than the non-Steam version but that isn't true 
because pretty much all these games have either a free or paid patch. Um, now, as I've argued, man, this video is going to be long, but whatever. You can stop now, but I'm going to keep ranting. So, as I argued with people online, they, they said things like, well, it's the same as a mod, etc., etc., but it's, it's really not because no, no true modification to the game is being done. And that, that's my problem, is uh, personally, I think these games are up there to go viral, and they go viral because they have sexual content, and even though the sexual content isn't directly visible from Steam, it's hidden enough to fool a parent. And I really do think that's the intent. Um, and th that's why I don't particularly like it. You know, I, I wasn't really a fan of it. And um, I'm not a fan of it with House Party or anything. People want to bring up violence or bring up this or that. And it's just like, look, I got no problem with, with there being softcore content on Steam and um, the majority of violent games on Steam right now are not that violent. Like, the last real violent games were Soldier of Fortune 1 and 2. And a lot of games don't have realistic violence. And then when they do have realistic violence, it's kind of violence against these inhuman monster people like Doom and stuff like that. Or with Wolfenstein, the Nazis, you know, they're not people. Uh, somebody got mad about that. I think that's funny, huh? Um, you know, so it, it's different to me because, you know, I, I went through the same thing when I was young. There was this website called Home of the Underdogs, and it was this, um, I think it was run by a Thai lady or something. I don't know. Um, I know she wasn't, like, Japanese or Chinese. That's about all I remember. And she, um, she really liked posting video games that were kind of like indie, sort of not got a lot of attention. And this was back, they, they were all shareware, but a lot of them weren't shareware, but she just put them up there because they weren't easily available. And there was, um, you know, there were a lot of sex games up there and I played those when I was young. And, I don't necessarily know if that aided my um, sexual maturation in a good way. And I feel the same way about these games on Steam. I think if you're 18 or older, you can get them on a number of marketplaces like uh, DL Site, DMM, uh, Nuttaku. Like, they're out there. But I think this habit of putting them up on official websites you know that the, the, the websites where kids are buying or parents are buying their kids pc games and having them up there almost like where the adult content's a hidden feature is not really good especially when you're talking about games like proper visual novels that have you know it's not just a dirty picture of like a girl with jizz on her face, but it's like a full sex scene with animation and, and none of the fucking, none of the Japanese games have condoms in it. It's not really great for a 13, 14, 15, or hell, maybe even a 17 year old to be looking at that stuff. I, I don't necessarily know if that's beneficial. And the, the only people it really benefits are kind of like crazy libertarian people who want literally these guys want porno everywhere they want like to see sasha gray on the homepage of steam and stuff which is i guess one way to think about it and it benefits the companies but i don't really know if that benefits kids i mean these people people defend it like well there's porn everywhere it's like well okay fine but just because there's porn everywhere doesn't mean there has to be porn everywhere it's not like a self-fulfilling prophecy where um there's a lot of porn out there so we might as well add to it I, I just don't know if it's appropriate to have this kind of content on steam uh yeah that's that's pretty much it that's pretty much my take on this whole thing um you know i i think the reason people are so defensive about it is because it's a 
this sort of Judeo-Christian conservative group and it gives them a bunch of douche chills and reminds them of Jack Thompson and shit like that and they feel like they need to fight it but they can't realize for a second that like hold on maybe the way steam is putting these games up is like really sketchy and shitty and maybe these companies are really sketchy and shitty and maybe that stuff isn't actual sex positivity and you're just horny or you're underage so you want this shit on steam but you, you haven't really thought about it. Like, I saw some guy celebrating fucking the Honey Pop dev for uh, sexual positivity. And it's like, the Honey Cam Studio, um, you manage cam girls, you give them drugs to get them to go online, and then eventually it culminates in you prostituting them and having the option to not let them have condoms. Um, and they catch uh, STDs. Like that that's really not sex positivity that's kind of a joke about um the the sex trade and it's kind of like haha the prostitute caught aids and that that's not sex positivity i don't think the company is sex positive a lot of these japanese companies are not sex positive believe it or not believe fucking believe it or not illusion is not fighting for women's rights in fucking japan like, don't be a dipshit. Like, these groups are not sex positive. These games are not really sex positive. I think um, we do get really hung up about nudity in the States, but the idea that we need a hardcore porn on Steam is maybe a little too far. And I wish. I wish Steam would grow some balls about it. I wish these companies would grow some balls about it. Because they're so afraid of being being taken down by all the other idiot YouTubers out there. Who are really just in it for the fucking hits. Like, that's why I'm doing this video. It's just for the hits, man. It's just for the hits. I'm gonna go put it on there. A stupid hashtag. I mean, really, this doesn't keep me up at night. I think it's stupid. I don't think we need porno on Steam. I think if you want porno, there are a lot of different websites for porno. Um, and I, I, my real worry is, you know, I could take this and do a completely disingenuous explainer, which many people who are pro these games on Steam are doing, where they're going, oh, it's just animated, settle down you puritan and it's not it's not animated it's 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 hardcore sex you know and there, there's a big difference and when you conflate nudity um which is not even sexual with hardcore sex which is literally the definition of sexual i don't think it's good i don't think it's good to try to draw that line and all it's going to take is some senator to get wind of this, and there are going to be hearings over it. It's really dumb. It's a really dumb thing to have hearings over because it's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of inconvenience. It's not a lot of trouble um, to have these games off Steam. And people act like VNs are being targeted, but they're not. There was one game that was targeted that shouldn't have been Kindred Spirits on the rooftop. But the majority of games that got messages have on the sensor patches and they probably shouldn't be on steam because of that reason you know so that's pretty much it and i wish i wish people would nut up and just be like yeah may, maybe we maybe if we want to have a game marketplace for kids 13 and up we shouldn't have hardcore porno on there i know that makes me an evil puritan piece of shit because i don't think hardcore porno should be on a fucking distribution uh system for 13 year old kids um the worst person ever because of that but whatever man like i don't really see the problem and it's like you have to like we're gonna get to some point where it's like you're not allowed to talk about sex or sex work or anything unless you can fit your whole fist up your ass you know that's stupid it, it shouldn't just be people who are complete um, perverts and deviants talking about this stuff. I have no problem with deviants. I am a deviant and a pervert. But the, the, there should be a sort of acceptance that you're not a bad parent because you don't understand 
this game has a secret patch to add in hardcore sex and that doesn't make you a bad parent and it doesn't even make you a bad parent to not understand porn is literally every place on the internet it's not your fault and these people want to put down the parents and just stuff more and more porn out there it's like there's enough porn out there and i don't really think it needs to be on steam that's it all right well there you go there's the fucking video 20 whole minutes what a nightmare.